vegetative propagation. Different methods of asexual reproduction are vegetative propagation, budding, fragmentation and spore formation. Let's discuss about them in detail one by one. When new plants are produced from the vegetative parts of a plant, the process is called vegetative propagation. It does not involve formation of seeds. Let us see how vegetative propagation works. Stem as a vegetative part of a plant. Have you ever seen buds at the nodes of the stem? These buds are called axillary buds. These buds do not produce flower, rather they give rise to new branches. In some plants like rose, small portions of the stem containing small nodes are cut from the plant. These cut portions are called cuttings. These cuttings, if planted and watered, can produce new rose plants. Similarly, stem cuttings of sugarcane can also be used for vegetative propagation of sugarcane. Do you know potato is the edible stem of a plant? It bears small scars on it called eyes. Well, these are the axillary buds. Each eye on a potato can give rise to new plants by forming shoot above and root below. Leaf as a vegetative part of a plant. In plants like bryophyllum, leaf is the vegetative structure that helps in vegetative propagation of a plant. Many small buds arising at the margins of the leaves under suitable conditions form new plants. For more such videos on all subjects, practice questions and a lot more, download iPrep and learn unlimited.